it's time to get a little disco. A little... A little Elysium-y? I don't know. Panic at the disco? It's time for Disco Elysium. <coughs> I guess is the joke. Well, hello everybody. I am Ultra Director Jester. Joining me is Violet. Hey, hey. And we're going to play Disco Elysium for you. If you don't know, it's one of the most original, unique, incredibly detailed games or RPGs ever made. And, well, I just got to show it to people who haven't, who haven't seen it yet. So, uh, the way it's going to work, go into options here, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, turn on streamer mode because, well, I guess we are streaming it. But we're also going to go with hardcore mode. Uh. Everything's going to be more difficult. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll explain how the mechanics work because the less you know going into this, the better. And, and in fact, the more fitting, I'd say. So, uh, it's going to be difficult at first, but but uh, as the game goes on, you'll get more XP because it gives you more XP for doing stuff. And uh, it'll, get, it'll get easier as we go on. So we're going to go ahead and check hardcore. Uh, uh, we're going to check hardcore mode. Which mode? Hardcore. Hardcore indeed. Um, it reminds me a little of D and D. It's it is meant to be like that. <clears throat> In fact, if uh, it uh, the, the mechanics are very very similar. Oh well, thank you. Thanks for the subscription, Skelsington. So, let's get started then. So you have three architects to choose from, where you can make your own. Uh, you got you, you got a thinker where. You're, you're a really, really smart guy, and you kind of spend a lot of time in your head. And uh, you know a bunch of useless stuff about the world and <coughs> about, about things and all that. I think we need to be the thinker. You can be the sensitive guy who's, like, psychological. Like, you can really connect with people a lot more, but you get really fucking crazy as a result. <laughs> or you could be the guy who's basically all brawn, no brain. Thinker. Well, I say we go for the sensitive guy. Thinker. Thinker? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. All right. We're a cop. We need to think. That is true. The theories are at <clears> home <throat> in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Ooh. That's deep, man. Wow. All right. Let's begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious immensity. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. 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 Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> okay, we'll keep on non existing. And an audience of time passes. It is only void of struggle. No what about the X something? What was that about the X something? No, I wanted to know about the X something. If Vilas doesn't solve your problems, you aren't using enough of it. That is true, but maybe we can <clears throat> think them to death. But no, I want to know about the X something. Yeah. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. No, I want to get off now. Uh, no, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. I do, let me off. Chef? I don't care, I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. A sensation. Mm. Like a fly to the ointment, your con 
anxious things to wear. The lean and heavy machine, the pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing, <laughs> disco music. Mother, help me. <laughs> Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Who am I? <laughs> what sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. Oh. oh. Oof. Boy. Being hung over. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A car is pulled out outside. Oh, okay. Oh gosh. Well, this is the sad sack we're going to we're, we're going to end up being on this madness trip. I thought he was completely naked and I was concerned. His name is, well, that's not important. What he looks like is that's oh, not important either. Look at and that we, portrait down there. Yeah, we, we we don't even know what we look like right now. So, uh, the story is we are we are some dude some guy, somewhere. I mean, the box says something about detective, but I don't know about that. Go to the bathroom. And, uh, well, we have drunk ourselves literally so hard, we have forgotten everything. Who we are, what we, where we are, what year it is, what the world around us, how the world works, and, like, just basic functions. Us ripping up that tape over there, apparently. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, geez, that, that's, that's... Uh, ripped up that tape, something good. Oh, it's your coat. Is that your coat? Yeah. Get your coat. Oh, my my coat? What is that, right? What? Where? Underneath that. It's a uh, empty cassette case. Okay. Cool. What's in here? It's just... I think I... Think I, I, I we did something bad to this tape. Ooh, what's, a, what's this? A shoe? It's a shoe. Take the shoe. I got a shoe on my foot now. One shoe. I got a shoe. There's a, your tie hanging from the fucking thing. This fan has two chamber switches. <laughs> One ends in uh -oh. a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie is somehow Pull on the fan. To one of the doors. So let me talk about the mechanics of this game. It works on basically a 2D6 system, but you make checks like, you know, uh, Shivers and uh, savoir-faire and authority and we'll uh, we'll go over that a little bit. But uh, there are things you can do to make things a bit easier for yourself. Like you know, if you try to grab it, it's not going to work. But if you just pull on the fan, like you suggested, by it yay, to reach the time. it's so much easier now. Let's go for it. Hey, hey, snap! It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous. <laughs> Four or five different patterns. Four or five different patterns. Uh, leave. Do we're done here? Okay. Yeah, people go into do, the bathroom. People do drink themselves like crazy, but uh, to, to look forget in the mirror. Everything. It just uh, words fail to describe how rank it smells in oh, here. Oh goodness! They should have sent a poet. Oh. Why is the water still running? Oh, uh, hmm. is it gross water? Look in the mirror. Yeah. Okay, let's check the mirror here. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone was ripped half the faucet off. Someone, huh? Jeez. Mm, hot water sprays from the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Well, wipe the mirror. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the fate that awaits you there. Wipe the mirror. You're not even curious? Why, why you have no memory? Wipe the mirror. Really? All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in, have drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world energy. Deluge? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, we didn't just, you know, have a few drinks or even... Uh, 
hit you know hit the, hit some pounders. I think we drunk ourselves literally to death. To death. Yep. And just by some spare neuron in our brain, we're still alive. So the wallpaper is the carpet from The Shining. Huh. Yeah, I think these guys are uh, a bit of an art house fan. I just he's got, he's got anyway. Let's wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, a ball you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. I don't care. Allow me to introduce you to Inland Empire. He's the guy who's basically looking out for number one, yourself, basically. So he thinks that. Uh, oh wait, you know you could also you could not know what you look like. I want to know what I look like. You don't Let's care. Go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, man. Behold. Oh, what am I beholden to? You have no idea who this thing is. If this thing is. Uh, let's see. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. Yeah, I like how he looks better in the mirror than he does in his portrait. No shit. It, it's 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 the glowing redness in his portrait that make him seem like he's already seen the other side. Number 3. <laughs> This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. L like, later stage alcoholic. Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I have no idea why it's there. Yeah, our face. We're just stuck like this. It, it just it, is. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. No, You're keep making the face. Yourself. You can't, can you? It's like <laughs> You've worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. It is stuck there. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? All right, is it superstardom? Is it indescribable? Do you think you're trying to be, you know, a looker for the ladies? It's an expression of pain. It's an expression of pain. I think you might be right. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can we can uh, do checks here. These are white checks. Jesus. White checks are ones that you can retry, but if you like fail it, you have to level up and put a point in that in that specific skill in order to try again. So that one probably. So uh, we can we can uh, do both of these. <coughs> we can uh, try and figure out what the expression we're trying to do means, and we can also try and stop doing it, which is somewhat difficult. L yeah, number two. Well, let's uh, see what, what let's see what this thing is first. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere <laughs> in the past. That's all you know for now. It's something from the past. So let the mirror be for now. Maybe we can or... maybe we can stop the expression from happening. Yeah. It's too late. Oh, uh... I can't. Uh... My face is stuck like this. Oh no. At least he's smiling. Well, we can make this work somehow. Let's let it be. Ugh. Yeah. Well. There's your pants. I found my shirt. Oh, shirt. Nice shirt. Uh, what's in the bath? Oh, Wine, please. beer, and sweet liqueurs. Did I drink an entire bathtub full of fucking I malt liquor? I think you might have. I drank an entire bathtub of alcohol. Good gravy. Get your pants over there. There's my pants. Over. That's, that's my jacket. And my disco ass blazer. Oh, your pants are right there. Okay. And there are my. Where's your pants. other shoe? Where is my other shoe? Is it Ooh. over there? Keys are clinking in the pocket of your clear cut pants. Do you know, it's a good thing that he's that uh, he might be constipated because if he would have sold himself, that would have just been another problem to, to take care of. And that's a lot to throw on a player on your first outing here. It says. Whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. Whirling in rags. The, key on the, ring. the number one is etched on it. Is that where we're staying? This must be the place. I mean, we are in a hotel room. Yeah. Rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. So the thing about the thinker is that the thinker knows a lot about the world already. That's nice. So it, it knows right about. I mean, oh yes, the whirling in I rags. I figured that. So this might be a good way. To, intelligence. This might be a good way to introduce us to the world that we are in, whatever it is, wherever it is. Well, 
That looks uh, like uh, a hit. Like, I'm pretty sure you probably you threw your shoe out spring. the window. Cold wind blows in it. Let's take a look. The morning light hurts your eyes. Uh, it's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Let's assess the damage then. What do you mean, assess the damage? How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? <laughs> I don't know. I thought that maybe I could just look, look out. out. I thought that I could just look out the window and f f figure out. Look out, out the out. window. I ju it just repeats the, the same thing. Hurts your eyes. It's oh. hazy, but you see the ocean. Then leave. Ugh, I gotta find my other shoe. Luckily, I'm like a little bit of a veteran of this, so I know certain things. Like, if you want to find your other shoe, I mean, assess the damage. You know, it's, that's, let's let's be player brain here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you threw your shoe out the window. Yeah, it's on the balcony. Oh, hey, looky there. Whirling in rags, I bet it would say. Oh, yep, oh looky look at there. That. Wow, look at that. Look, there's your shoe. And there's my shoe right over there. Shoe. <coughs> shoe. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It smells salty and fishy and gross, but hey, at least I got my other shoe. There they both are. Two hey. identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snake skin. Reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. <laughs> How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. So we have two health bars in this game. Uh, the orange one there is our health. That's basically, well, our health. Okay. The one on the right is our morale. You know, we've uh, oh, yeah. we've drank so much that we're basically a, a newborn baby. And our mental state is very, very fragile. So if we even take... <laughs> so, uh, because you chose Thinker, if we even have one thought that hurts our morale, <laughs> we're dead. No! We, 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 we go crazy, faint, pass out, and die. Oh, we get so sad. Yeah, we are we, we are so sad. We are but we have our intelligence at least. Ooh, a calendar. Uh, ooh, me. Oh god, this lady. <laughs> yes. A cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than twenty eight. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out from the city. Officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. Then why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. You're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Oh, all this time? time? You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. We've been here for three days? Sheesh. I guess the third day really took us took its toll on us. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. We d don't tell me we drank three entire bathtubs full of alcohol in three days. In three days. And that's all we did was just drink. Yeah, uh, well. Probably didn't eat anything. Just drink. You have no doubt about a three-day bender. But yep. Do you strike yourself as a type less drunk? She must have heard something. All right, so we can either ask about the car that we heard outside when we woke up. Uh, we can ask about how, why don't we remember being a cop. Why would, would why would they let me be a, a cop? Or we can try and flirt with her. Yeah, the flirt, the flirt. The words have already left your mouth. I want, I want to, to have, have fuck, fuck with, with you. you. <laughs> what was that? I said I, I want to have sex. Words are you? What do you? <laughs> no, you see, no. that's not what you said. <laughs> you said I love that she just couldn't on, man. Pretty please. One more time. <laughs> I said I want to have fuck with you. Goddamn right you did. You crazy ass all of you. What <laughs> are you? So uh, we can sort of shape uh, what kind of cop we want to be. Super cop. A uh, cop of the apocalypse, a superstar cop, the sorry cop. Or maybe you're just not I'm a cop of the apocalypse. Do this. You're a, a copalypse. Has the time come already? 
Uh, no, we saw it from centuries ago. <laughs> You're one in ten, huh? Anyone ever tell you that? <laughs> Two? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm usually less intense. I don't know what this stuff is coming out of my mouth. All right, then. Looks like I should go and prepare for what's to come. And thank you. This has been delightful. I do hope it happens sooner. Otherwise, it's going to suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. <laughs> hmm. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. What the? Oh. Uh. Take her cigarette butt. Well, we can look at it, but we're a drinking guy, not a smoking guy. Well. Takayuki Yagami, he is a smoking guy. Whoever we are, we're a drinking guy, but I don't even want to think about drinking, or maybe I should think about drinking, I don't know. Miss, should I think about drinking? The door is closed. There is no answer. Shh. You hear the shower being. Oh, come on! Knock again. Still no answer. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still 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 nothing. Okay, leave. I just want to be loved. Um, I want to next, have fuck with you! <laughs> is the next room, uh, what's its face? Well, the next room belongs to somebody. We don't know if it belongs to the guy you're thinking about. Is mall cop an option? <laughs> you know, I like it. We could be a mall cop. Yeah, there he is. <coughs> this is where everyone in the audience cheers, claps, applause. Yay. Yeah. yeah, this place is a shithole. Yeah, it is. God. It's disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this dude that just has like a bird on the counter. Oh, uh, he seems to be waiting expectantly for us. Let's give him a talk. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Huh. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on his back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your We'll screen. shake his hand. Wait a minute, we're... that we must be related somehow. Yeah. Hello. I'm Timothy Soraya, the attorney, Good. Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. I don't really know my name. Do we want to invent a name? What? We can try and invent a name for ourselves. Okay. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange. It like is not yet time. On the horizon, <laughs> but mixed with the stench of liquor rising. Oh from God! The You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Hmm. It is not yet time. Yes. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? So I guess it's now Monday, and he was supposed to be here on Saturday. So that, I guess that explains the three days. Our partner didn't come, so we just drank and drank and drank and yeah. drank and drank and drank and drank and drank until we died. Until we what died, really. What he is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Oh, we were supposed to meet him, but we drank and drank and drank and drank. <laughs> Wait. So uh, that guy back there with the with the thing, did we talk to him? Or do no. we, or is he do we, do we does, do does he even have the right guy? No, I have. Wait. No, I haven't. Then we should ask him for a rundown of the area. Get me up to speed. I understand the scene is all back, right? D uh, scene. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. What and interviews? The initial interview. At the 57, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface, prepare the field, get to know the players. We don't do that. Maybe it's not an interview through practice. 
Well, I don't think we should lie to him, so we haven't done that. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the current state. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body? Dead body? I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? No. So the body is still in the tree. Oh, God. <laughs> For three days. Oh, God, it's going to be so gross. Seven days. <gasps> but I can't remember anything. I can see you drink last night. And the night before, and the night before, and the night before. And, the night before. Be worse. Much worse. and we're still drunk. Your officers have gone worse than complete amnesia from drinking? If you need something for your head, there is a general store nearby. But as I say, the dead body should Let's be... Let's get going then. Alright. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Yeah, I mean, we are a cop. Where's our badge? You mean Where's you our everything? I didn't have I didn't have one when I woke Using up. Using your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. Uh, I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Fitzgerald is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Thank you. All right. Talk well, uh, to the dude back there. One thing we should do is, ooh, I need a alcohol. I did. Oh. oh, God. Oh. oh, it's so wasted. Oh, hey, buddy. Listen here. Oh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> a man is sleeping at the table wearing mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from his caribou mm. Makes your fingers itch. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. E Pick up the pills! You probably need them more than he does. Yeah, I'm not even sure if my head is working. You've just picked up some magnesium. Ah. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. But careful, because if you have full health and you accidentally press right, you will take them anyway and nothing will happen. Inspect the piece. Here's a dock worker's ID. Double it as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able-bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. John. Uh. Yoink! Your fingers you just the took that dude's thing! Open open its spring loaded gate. The metal loop holds the plastic ID and another bound. Why do we need his ID? And the man? The man emits a loud snore. Psh. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. Better Swipe quick. through the pocketbook and take what's inside. Does he see me? No, he's looking the other way. Perhaps purposefully. Ooh, okay. Well, let's take what's inside. You find a black paper Five bucks! Profile in it. Seems like this woman lived centuries ago. The note says... Does Lieutenant here. see me? It feels nice and green. He's looking right at you. And then, yoink! You slip the plastic ID card out of the loop and pocket it. Why are we stealing this random guy's stuff? Just for the record, you look nothing like the man on the top of <sighs> The sleeping dock worker has little to say about your actions. He remains silent. Wow. We could wake him up. No. Don't think we will, though. Lieutenant, who is this? No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company he runs and operates the harbor. All right, so he works for the folks so who are in the harbor. So why is he freaking sleeping? Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Hey, well, that, that's what I've been doing. Am I on strike? Leave. Okay, well, you take it easy, buddy. All right, so we can do one of two things. We can either talk to the guy and start our interviews, or we can go and check out this body. Let's go see the body. Let's go see the body. <laughs> Just playing on PS5, the console interface is a little... Nick.
Oh, here we are. This is the city of. Is that his car right so, there? Oh yeah, this must be his uh, his uh, his car. That's crazy looking. Stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number fifty-seven. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. So it must have just got here. Yep. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. Open the door. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hood, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and a soft glow on the fuel preheater gauge. What are we doing in, in, in the car? The of metal work and heavy fuel oil washes over you. Pull out the toolbox. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long carry. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. <laughs> uh, take the chain cutters. We can take all these. Oh, we'll take them all. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavy so we got a, we, we got a pry bar. It's good me on good for stuff. Opening all sorts of doors. We got some chain cutters. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap. Those are cutters in your hand. You can do good work with these. Cut chain. Hand cranked flashlight. Especially belts. To make sure it never runs out of power. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue. Blue. So it's good stuff. Lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Well, no shit perception. The pull out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheated gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hood. Anything uh, more you want to do? Uh, yeah, and then just close the door. Okay. Well, uh, where to now? The dead body. Where's the dead body at? Uh, up. Go north. Yep. Oh, auto save. Whoa. Oh. Oh god, look at it. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Well. Yes. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's uh You better climb that shit. That's a dead body. Well, maybe we should look him up first. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> the corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. Ugh. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his <coughs> tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Hmm. You seem to be holding your breath. I can't really... A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rock. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Why is it so bad? God, what is that? Why is it so bad? It is okay. It's okay to throw us of his armor. No one is judging. I go through your nose without throwing up. Okay. 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 Nope. Ah! Let it out. Pushes in from your mouth. We go. We walk away. We let it out. Let it out. Anything you expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind. Oh no! Let that. Let it out. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, that is that is foul. Oh, oh. And that's alcohol coming out of your system. <laughs> Kuna's laughing at you down there. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it. Uh, burst by burst. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Well, whatever bad stuff was in my stomach is out now. Oh. Distilled spirits. Fucking corpse. <laughs> Fucking corpse. Thanks, wipe your mouth. The hangover is clearly making things worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Do you think ammonia would help? If you can handle yeah. the head, some officers use it to deal with cadaver in odor. 
But not you? But not you. Uh-huh. It's more likely he can handle the smell. Unlike you. So, Unlike you. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret. You can pick you can get ammonia from a store. And you know what it does? Nothing. Diddly squat. That's great. You puke again. I don't need that shit. I don't need that shit. You just threw up a lot. Okay. I don't need that shit. We're okay, where are we get ammonia from? There is free nearby, east of the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone apothecary. They don't. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the road and in rack. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Gross. Yeah. Pretty clever. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Well, all right, we can't do anything with this corpse here. I mean, we we just like I can't I, I can't even get close to it. It's just talk me... to Kuno. All right, what are you doing? Kuno, got this. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid. <laughs> He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. <laughs> in his ugliness? Oh my god. Oh my god. Like a gremlin. His in-game model looks like James and the Giant Peach, but he grew up <laughs> to be a little shit. <laughs> no! A moment of your time, please. Throwing rocks? Shit cut it. Juicy, what now? Yeah, this is electrochemistry. He is one of the parts of your brain that wants you to get high. He's always looking out for uh, ways to score drugs and get drunk, and <laughs> probably one of the guys that got you into this mess. Oh, no, really? Juicy, so, what now? I mean, drugs. The kids on drugs. Oh, well. Kids on drugs. Kuno's really? on drugs, yeah. Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kuna don't know what a rake is. Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not an arc. <laughs> Kuna knows the law. Look, I have a question for you. Jesus. Oh, Kuno, you fill me with so much hatred and yet so much love at the same time. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player. Through. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, what do you want to ask him? Uh, odds are we can just go through all these. Kuno, I I threw up and I can't investigate the body. Now. <laughs> You're gonna emasculate yourself in front no, of him? I'm just reading it. <laughs> uh, about the crime scene. About the crime scene. You kids often play in this yard. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, Kuno doesn't give a shit. What do you know about the body? Yeah, you you throwing about the body? You're throwing rocks at it. <laughs> Kuno's dream is to <laughs> Kuno's dream is to show up on cops. <laughs> right. Can't blow out Kuno's fucking face out! This is where you quickly ask him questions. Have you seen anyone suspicious? You see anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. Oh, not suddenly not. Eh. Uh. Do you know how it got up there? So you didn't see it happening. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Ravishon. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay, where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... <laughs> I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in Night City, City huh? You're not in Night City! Shut up! Where is Night uh, City? That's a fictional city name. Night City doesn't exist. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? <laughs> you haven't been where Kuno's been. You haven't been in Kuno's head. You wanna 
What were you up to? Oh, yeah. It's lame. There's Kuno S on the fence back there. It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building. Kuno's city. Nice city. Raid city. City of raid. That's it. And it's not lame. Was this kid on PCP or something? Wow, really? That's the name of Kuno's city, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. <laughs> it's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. More on, the, more on this fault, later. It will come up later. Wait. Focus on the case. Yeah, do you know who he was? Do you know who he was? Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. So you don't know anything. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That door. Trying to make the Kuno thing into the Popo phone. Well, let's talk about something Popo else. phone! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you did hear a cyberpunk reference. Maybe Keanu Reeves will show up. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth, you wow, little... Wow, miss. Sheesh. All right, let's... Kuno doesn't fucking care. All right. Well, uh... Talk stop. to that girl up there. Kuno, the pig's sitting pretty close to me. Can't you snuff my shit out, I think? Take one step closer. I just want to ask you some questions. Going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? What are those strange words you use? <laughs> I come from the woods, good stuff, big stuff. You don't want to go there with me. You don't want to see what I see. Don't be traumatizing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fruitful. Ooh, what's this? This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, Whirling in rags. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. Just a trash container? There. There is Open no it. such thing. Your fingers start to itch just looking at that. Ooh, how do we how get do the, the lock, lock open? open? Yeah. Pry yeah, the pry bar that you have. Do you want to hear this ore? No, or, or... No, no or! Primar! We might want to ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. Uh, you're no fun, Kim! We need to get the tool to affect Jade, so... Alright, so now let's talk about the interface here. This is our character Whoa. sheet. These are all the parts of our brain right here. We have logic, which, uh... It's basically how you deduce things. It's like, oh, this yep. must hurt. It's like the Pedia. Useless trivia. Rhetoric. Persuasion, essentially. Drama. Deception, I suppose. Yep. Conceptualization. Creativity, where you can see art and things. Visual calculus, where you can recreate some stuff in, in your head. Psyche, which is our weakest. You know, we're not so good with in terms of, you know, connecting with people. Uh, we got low volition. Our morale is low. We should probably... Put some points in there if we can. Oh my gosh. Is Shivers like... Asthma? Shivers is basically how you feel in the city. Like, you know, you hear the honking of... Uh, the, Lays the know, hair on your neck. Yeah. You hear, you hear the sound of the city and what they tell you. It sets the scene. If in an empire, your gut feelings, essentially. You know, self-preservation. Empathy. Authority. You know, I am the law! You can basically, you know, stomp in and say, I'M THE FUCKING LAW! YOU DO WHAT I SAY! Right. The spirit decor, basically connection with your fellow cops. And suggestion, we can, where we can charm men and women and play the puppet master. We are so good at charming people. We are oh, yeah. quite the Look looker we are. Zero means ten, right? Right, yeah. It's, it, 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 this it is like D&D. Physique, how our body is, endurance, we can take two hits. We don't have that high of a pain threshold. <laughs> uh, physical instruments, how you use tools, and, you know, your, oh, your muscles, your, your electrochemistry. Go to party <laughs> planets. Love and be loved by drugs. Drugs, drugs, drugs. It's all about electrochemistry. Shivers, yeah. And half light is uh, intimidation, I suppose. And then motorics. You know, the fine hand, uh, you know, hand-eye coordination, we got that. Use it, using the gun, we can do that. Yep. Perception. Except, you know, actual perception. 
Reaction speed. How quickly we, re we can react to stuff and how quickly we can pick up on something. Savoir faire. Uh, Sneak. Stealth. Yep. Interfacing. That's lock picking. And composure, which I guess is your basic uh, constitution role. Yeah, keep your poker face. Yeah. Yeah, and here's some more stuff that did a lot of reading here. Here's our inventory. Right now we've got our tools here. Oh. Well, if I can... How the... There we go. Interface is a bit weird sometimes. So uh, we can equip our pry, bar, our pry bar here. And also the chain cutters on the other hand. And, you know, we just, you know, just keep switching up between tools. We got our... Uh, this is basically stuff that we can sell. So we can sell that uh, dock worker shift card if we want to. Oh my gosh. There's a pawn shop in town we can go to. We can sell that guy's car. That'd be pretty terrible if that happened. And uh, I might want to keep that. All right. So let's unequip that. We've got the pry bar. Anything else we can put in our inventory? It doesn't look no. like it. All right. Pry bar. Let's no, go. You this just hit Kuno. Is the sliding bit. Oh, the fuck kind of metal is this? This is fucking shit. The fuck kind of metal is this? This fucking shit. The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. Kick the container. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. The can seems to be full. That's it. I can't write open. Let's ask the manager for the key. Yeah. It is clearly not working. Uh, all right. Fine. Ow. 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 Ugh. Did you break your toe too? I think I did. Yes. Don't kick. Don't kick stuff. It hurts. Don't kick metal. All right. Let's go talk to him. Mr. Gar, right? You run this place. Yes. I am Tim yes. Kisuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41. What is gold and orange like a forest fire but smells like liquor? Are you kidding me? No, man. Help me out. What is gold and orange that smells like liquor? It's you. <laughs> it's obviously you. You smell like liquor. And... Your orange. See, everyone agrees it's your color scheme. Right? We're yeah. Right. Kim has more orange on him than anything else. I think it's. I think he's talking about our face. You know, our face is oh, fucking yeah. orange. When you call the police now, we've been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job, and for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. I know it took Man, Kim's got this. He's so cool. <laughs> yeah. But it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works with our hair. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Huh. This sounds like something you can use yeah. to call to Sylvie later. Aha, uh -huh. so another lead for our investigation. Yay. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Yeah, I think of a lot of liquors too that are orange and I'm not really, uh, goof. Can't be a good mixture about what he had. What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know okay. where you are, yes? In case we need direction. Yes, I know where some things are, but... As I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't inspire it. Detective. He probably means this is when you step in and ask your questions. Okay. Questions time. Let's go. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. <laughs> it, uh... Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. 
He will give us information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones. Not Why did Sylvie go away? Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Am I not a cop? Everything is my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie... What? I hope you'll appreciate that. Thank you. Mystery solved. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. I guess I like to be thorough. I guess I like to be thorough. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? Who killed him? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? What's the difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Oh, three, huh? Ooh. Who killed him? Who, who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. That's all. It's done. Not so fast. You owe me 130 way out. I don't owe you shit. Oh, you don't owe me shit. Well, obviously, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. We do not need to expose ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? <laughs> Sounds, Sounds like extortion, extortion to me. You know, I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here or some backpacking asshole off the road. The next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in the ship. What do I owe this place Please, for? Just give me the money. Let's see. Three nights at the tariff of 20 right now comes to 60 right now. Uh -huh. Then there's the window you annihilated. Annihilated, okay. The first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. And that will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30. You're under arrest. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revish. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. You're under arrest. You yeah. I haven't done anything. Well, we lost our nerve bad twice. So let's see if this works. The words leave your mouth as if walking up the street. <sighs> fucking well can, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking well can, bitch! So apparently I'm a bitch now. Okay, I'll be the bitch, and you'll be the broke cop who owes me money. And no one will arrest anyone because that's insane. How's that? Sir, leash in your tongue. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You need to contact your station. Ask your people for assistance with the money you owe this place. There is a shortwave radio in my car. When you get the time, use it. We need to get this investigation started now. Damn. I'm sorry, but I can't let him stay here if he doesn't pay. He's three days on the slip. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, You'll have to work this I don't remember where my home is. Okay. Let's go. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Alright, we're on the hook for the damages, sadly. By the way, where is home? <laughs> the address is coming up. Yeah, where is home, huh? And this place sure isn't it. I remember. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Where are far we? away. Far away? In time or space? Both. Yeah. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I? I live in a dumpster. Fuck everything? Fuck everything, Hobocop. 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 Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. So now we get to another portion of the game here. We got our character sheet, we got our inventory, we got our journal with our quests on it. Right now we gotta inspect the body, report our badge missing, open the trash container, and then uh, see who made the call. You'll probably call about Sylvie and pay for the damn damages. Well, I don't think we can open the trash container because we didn't get the key. Oh yeah, we gotta ask him for that. But this will fill up very, very quickly on a day-to-day -day basis. Gosh. Oh, and of course, the fourth thing is the thought cabinet. The thought cabinet? You've got all these things here, all these schools of thought that give you different bonuses and banes. And it takes time. You basically have to 
You know, we, we got hobo cop here. A cop. And a hobo. A hobo cop. Upsides. Can be disheveled, doesn't have to wash, carries himself with lurch gusto. Hobo cop doesn't need anyone or anything. No one can kick you out because you don't have a home. Never pay rent again. Never again here. You're drunk. Why did you even come here, Harry? Go home. You're embarrassing yourself. Downsides, are there any? I mean, seriously, give me one. <laughs> so it's going to take four hours and 20 minutes for us to, in, in game time, for us to really think about being yeah, a hobo cop. The ins and outs that we can really do this. And we're going we're gonna to get a bonus at the end of that. We don't know what that is yet. But while we're thinking of this, we have even less composure. So we're going to be really, really touchy. Apricot chewing gum. We're going to be really touchy while we're uh, thinking about being a hobo cop. What's apricot chewing gum? Well, we don't know. We don't know what that is yet. Oh, we only know hobo cop. Like, everything else is not lo unlocked yet. Everything else is okay. what we can learn. There's quite a lot of schools of thought that we can uh, attest to. Quite, quite a lot. But for now, all we have is how can we be the best hobo cop that we can be? We have limited spaces that we can uh, put thoughts into. I think we only have three to start with. But we can unlock more as we level up. Okay. But you can see down here in the lower right, our experience bar there is how much experience we get. The more, the more tasks and stuff we do and things that we do and quests we clear, the more experience we get and we level up and all that good stuff. Cool. So... We need that key. Can I help you? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing it up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. Of course. And the neighbors too. Well, I'm not a hobo because I'm really thinking about it right now. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's true. You can't put a hobo cop under house arrest. Of course, how could a hobo cop be in... It oh. seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in me. I wonder what this feeling is. That's... What is this? Probably gonna find out. <laughs> what if I told you I am a hobo? Or soon to be one rummaging through that trash. Will you keep me we out too? We need those keys. No. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please go to just bring them back once you're done, please. That was easy. Well, let's go open that trash Ew. container. It, the pry bar is uh, not re related to anything. Don't mind me. Want to talk to this lady? Not yet. Go open the trash. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta go play in the trash where we talk to ladies. Yes, of course. Really embracing this hobo cop vibe. Yeah. All right. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has with a well-oiled crack. The lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't. Maybe you should. Why not? Maybe you should. Of course you should. This is your time to show. Open the lid. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. Let's do it. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. Ugh. Soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> We're just in time. This isn't being Uh, dig in Hobocop style. Right, we're gonna go, go through all of these all at once. So we'll start by looking out of the boxes of carton. You see milk and Ugh. egg rest with one broken egg in it. Ugh. Some pasta wrapper. Ugh. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. <laughs> You've done familiar? This the movements are recorded in your elbow. The methodology in your fingers. You're used to this. Used to what? Dumpster diving? <laughs> no. Searching for evidence in the trash. Ah. Uh, oh. Good practice for dumpster diving. Dive yes. first. Let's get even further. The box falls into pieces in your hands. Batisole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing. Who turbo noodles. noodles? Turbo noodles. Yeah, what about the rags? Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Grab them. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unscrew, <coughs> a wrench fills <coughs> the air. The victim's clothes? 
Oh. Faint. 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 Yeah, well, at least we found these. Bag the trousers. There you go. Blue jeans. Forget. Empty. Or empty. He wore them with the belt, too. The white belt. The looks appear strange, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? One of their wee belts? There's got to be a belt somewhere, right? Something slimy captured your eye. Let's go for it. for it. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored. Appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Blah. Rabbit. This is a military type, although garment. No label or serial number. It is the kind of weird mixture that one of the light armor to consider in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rag are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. So. Uh, I think that's it. All right. We should go to Garth again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostage cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that boy. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk to the kids. I don't think they know anything. They're too high to know anything. Okay. Yeah. Think someone from the whirling might have been involved? Not really. It's either that or the, the garbage disposal trash. people. The lead was lost, and this establishment has the key. It's just a small loose trap. Okay. The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the trash container. What have we got another food waste here. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Yeah. Ew. And potato peels mostly. Unlike it's by sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. Gross. Hey, hey, hobo cop, right? Hobo cop, get in there. What's this? What? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Pick it up. Yep. Something larger. Ooh. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can Is see that the ours? forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? No, it can't be. Yes, it is. Look, this plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. Okay, so when we start looking at the body, we'll be uh, much more prepared. Did we kill this guy? In our drunken stupor? I don't think so. But why did we throw it in the trash? I don't know. Why is it in the trash with the person's clothes? What, what, was it? Uh, was it just lame? Was it because it was just foreboding? Did we just want to stop being a cop? Maybe someone else threw it away, or maybe we just don't want to talk about that. Someone else threw it away. I don't know. I don't know. I'm boring. I don't know. I'm boring. <laughs> <laughs> boring. Try dangerous. You should do a thorough inventory of that. Be sure some has not fallen into the hands of the RCM's enemies, organized crime, or worse. Official notes sometimes contain informants' names, even undercover authorities. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Some items, such as the ledger you found, Digging are Hobo right. Cop style. Hobo Cop style, here we go. Extra content. Wow. An armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. Ooh. So shiny. What's a knock cannon? Where? It's a giant I guess. rifle. And it's very expensive. Oh. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels. Hobo Cop wins again. Holy and shit. Cordon Electrics preamp with Electro F2 tubes. It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. I am into hi fi, yes. Hi -fi yourself. I am into hi fi! That's too bad, because none of those things are actually in there. Son of There's just food <laughs> and crisp wrappings. A cruel jest! There must be something. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man. Take. Oh, social sensibility. <laughs> well, take the mug. This might be a clue for later. You never know. Why would the game tell us about it? Right. Why would we be able to take it if it didn't have any relevance? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I, I did. Oh, it's. It, hey, hey, it's evidence. I promise you, it will come up later. Uh huh. Find an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the container. Sounds of muffled gong. 
All right. That's one thing I believe. I think we're good to go. All right. Take a look at the old. In oh, take a look at the autosave. Take a look at our inventory now. We have a couple interactable items. Our Eight damaged keys. ledger here. Give that a big look. And the uh, insensitive mug. Insensitive mug, yes. Well, ledger or mug? We can look at we can look at both of these. Ledger. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Anything? Urinal cleaner? Anything else? <laughs> There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue Ew. clipboard. It's a metaphor for you. <laughs> Thank wow, you thanks. For spelling it out for us. So Browse the white paper. Let's look at the toilet paper. It's just toilet paper. Stick it to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take, take it, it off. off. Maybe it's kitchen tissue. They look exactly the same. If you want it to be kitchen tissue, it can be kitchen tissue. Oh. It's not though. It's toilet paper. Take it off. Still wet, but toilet paper. We leveled up. Kitchen tissue. Sorry. Peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off your finger and voila. The legend now looks Ew. marginally better. Alright, let's look at the clip. An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Mm. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it. I love, I love sparkly stickers. <laughs> right, yeah. Looks like an official mark, made to be low visibility outside the right. What is this? What is this? What? That thing. It's an uh, allergen watermark. We use it for adding information to our skin properties. Interesting. What kind of information? It depends. Aside from an anti counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. Maybe yours will have how many cases you've sold. How can I read it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will work. Like... What? All our CM vehicles have had lamps designed to reveal allergen watermark. Mine too. Okay, so if we put our... put the sticker in front of his headlights, this means we should be able to read what, you know, more about our career in the, in the RCM. Okay. While a bunch of solid papers sag from the clipboard in your hand. <laughs> let's start looking at some papers now. Let's, yeah. let's take a look at the white ones. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Also, See, we've just spilled alcohol all over our evidence papers. Do we look like a neat person? Yes, absolutely. Look at that face. Lines forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, Case file, commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred solid, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hand. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, but mostly illegible. What is in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the general quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51 this year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. But there are at least 20, maybe 30 cases undertaken, not completed, mind you. <laughs> it's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. Ooh. What do you mean? Is that all? That's it? The notebook is annual. It says 51 on what remains of its cover. A molten strap of cardboard. Everything prior to this must have belonged to a previous volume. In short, there was more. Is two cases a week a good caseload, Lieutenant? No. Huh? Two complex cases to undertake with the lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. Yeah, well, two cases a week appears to have been my load, Lieutenant. I'm not sure I completed them, though. Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. It was presumptuous of me. 
I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. We all make mistakes. Like a fan of girls, the checkered paper is dry in your hand. The handwriting is extremely dense. It's mostly illegible. Uh, I have to open an official case. Is there room? There is, for precisely one more. Ah, good. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. Commit to paper. Sadly, <laughs> the letter only comes with an old, worn-down lead pencil. It's unfitting of this monumental event. <laughs> the letter only comes with an old, worn-down lead pencil. It will do, barely. But... Kim, do you have a pen? The looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens hang from the binder. Like large caliber bullets on an <laughs> ammo belt. Uh, so yes? He is not really saying anything. Can I just have one? There. Now let's play to his guilt. Uh, I'll fine, I'll just use this crappy, crappy pencil. pencil. Absolutely motionless at first. Then animated slowly, <laughs> even. The lieutenant begins to browse his notes again. What? You to the case files. He's going to let me use the crappy... Oh. Onto the paper. With a brush free I told you to ask him for a pen. The, the, letters. the wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Interview the cafeteria manager. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry would be out of place. Well, let's clear that one and that one. Slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you... And you. Things to be done and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen's militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. Uh, Lieutenant, have you by any chance uh, named our case yet? No, I'm actually. Any ideas? Alright, uh, the hanged man, the furious are home in the mirror, the setting stun, uh, shit on a stick. The setting sun. Okay, okay. It's a good name, but it has one problem. This case has nothing to do with the setting sun. Fine, the and hanged man. Something God. More concrete, perhaps? You have something concrete. I mean, the the hanged man. How about the furies are at home in the mirror? Furies? Yes, well, I don't know. I have to be honest. I'm not experiencing the internal strife that it refers to. And also, could you make it less poetic somehow? Just a normal case name. Less you know? poetic? Think, what would that be? A good normal name. A good yes. normal name. You know what that normal name is. <laughs> but it's so plain. Anything else may do. How about shit on a stick? Huh, yes. I have to tell you, officer, I don't appreciate ironic methods. Other officers <laughs> will have to use it as reference. If it's idiot or cocksinger, they're not going to get it. They're going to think an idiot and a cocksinger were on this case. <laughs> so, do you have something uh, for me? <sighs> the hanged man. Great. Yep. That's great. That's actually what I was thinking, too. Why didn't you say that, then, Kim? We have a very good name for the case. Well, at least he likes it. It makes him happy. I'm going to start calling it the hanged man. It's good with such a design. Okay, is there as mention of a naming convention here? Yes, it appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins. Yet, still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. Ooh, a title, one might say even. One that draws inspiration from snoop fiction and vespertine cop show statements. Oh my, and they're written in capital letters, too. <laughs> yes, all caps. One is called The Next World Neuron. Another, The Square Bullet Hole Murders. Ooh. Another, yet, The Unsolved The Square case. Bullet Hole Murders? Any more? Others appear more lighthearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location, and the murder at the Fuka Parlor. Even the rare article free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. Ooh, murder. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done. 
once you're done inspecting them up close. Can all my cases employ a naming convention similar to what we used on ours? Yes, how very childish of you. <laughs> We're just childish. Why is that? It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea of how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. I seem to have named a case the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one the man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Did I name his death? To amuse myself. I pray <laughs> his <laughs> To amuse myself. Him. What happened to him? Rail spiked through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. Okay, let's close the case files we now. Don't exactly close them. So much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. Jeez. We'll, we'll worry about reading them a bit later, though. Now. What about the yellow papers? In the back, you see thin, translucent copy of paper. Some neon yellow. Some bright red, all covered in boxes, like marching armies. These look like official forms waiting to be filled out. They rip them from the binder and hand them out, according to type of form. What types of forms are there? Three. The topmost are misconduct fines. The middle ones are station calls. And the bottommost are field autopsy forms. Each is easy so to much sense. paperwork. Uh, that's, that's a cop, I suppose. Really? You have to be an intellectual giant to do police work. A monetary penalization. So we can penalize people from 20 to 250 real. Severe cases allow for 1,000 real, but that requires special paperwork. The details of issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields. But they appear pleasant. Which means we can maybe bend the rules a little bit. Mm -hmm. These are quite sinister in turn. They give a date and time for the person to appear at the specified precinct police station. Below the call are the criminal charges you risk by not appearing. Oh, oh this is basically uh, oh. a low-grade subpoena, essentially. Yeah. All in a print so small it could be considered downright cute. And this seems more relevant to our case. A field autopsy. A dozen yes. pages of thin copy. Bright red in color. You see the parameters of a deceased human form waiting to be filled in. Age, sex, condition of internal organs. All yes. right. All that remains now is to fill those forms and hand them to people. Fines for wrongdoers, interview requests for bad guys, and field autopsies to dead guys. To dead guys. And we've got one dead guy in need of an autopsy for him, but he's too stinky. I can't go the over there. The and Kuno is a bad guy. Because I said so. Between the board and the rest of the paperwork must have spared the fragile copy of paper. What's the ledger smell like? The acidic stench of rotting food is uh. on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat. The stuff of death itself. Oh god. So maybe if I smell this enough, I'll be able to get close to the body. You know, like the bits they put into public piss bowls. Probably called Fermi Discreet or Axel or something. At some point in this journey, the <laughs> So we can either use our nose to figure out which toilet that uh, this that this has been from, or we're we just gonna yell at our nose. Shut up, nose. <laughs> I don't need your help, I don't need anyone's help! Your nose does not <laughs> Alright, look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. Ooh, the edges are rounded, however. The U4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shivers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters RCM. Right, just give it a shake. Something rattles inside, ever so lightly. Is there a hidden compartment? Is there? Ooh. It's something small inside. Light, made of paper or cardboard, or dried flowers, perhaps. Could it be Why our badge? Why dried flowers? Oh, no, yeah, our badge. It's not hidden, per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials that would give damage if something happened to it. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it is not see-through. You cannot see to its center. How do I open it? With your hands, 
You four sides pages hang from the clip, screwed to the top of the board. Well, let's see if we can open it then. It is not Duh. To end up what? Here. You squeeze the plastic to slide it open, but nothing happens. Then you bend it some. Then crack it. The goddamn thing is stuck. The ledger quivers in your hand. As it shakes, the pages rustle. Is this pathetic mess suddenly afraid of you for some reason? Well, I think we're done with this then. Yeah. Darn. Oh. Great. Can't we use the ham the ham bar to open it? Use the pry bar to open it? Yeah, the pry bar. I don't, well, I don't I don't think so. I don't think we can. Yeah, could you Okay. It's the ledger you found in the trash. Now we gotta put more into interfacing if we want to give it another try. Draw inside. Which we could. We have enough for a level up. We can also do a bit of save scumming too. What? It's all right. Let me show you how save scumming works. Uh, what was it we need to put in? Uh, it was. What was it? Would it be? I don't think it would be hand. We're trying to pry open the. It was interfacing. That's right. Yeah. So we'll put a point into interfacing there. And we'll do a quick save. Let's take a look at this ledger again. Damn it. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging up from the board. So we, it's been bumped up to a 72. Yeah. There we go. Since we quick save, we could then reload that quick save. And it's really fast on PS5. Yeah. Until we get it. Slowly. The slides snap back into place. It should be possible to just open. Slide the drawer open. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. What's inside? Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Oh, damn. They got the ticket stubs. You can kill yourself, asshole. Smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the colored pencil drawings. The tickets permit access to the zoo in Revershaw East. The aquarium costs extra. These let you go there, too. The words just cross your mind somehow. Who are they for? What? Do you think? Well, let's pick up the card then. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of blue. Smell it. Smell it, yeah. Sort of chewing gum. Apricot flavor. Well, there's your apricot flavored chewing gum. Hey! The end of summer. You think the lady. Tootie fruity! Well, let's open it. Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card. Looped, round letters in a woman's hand. A young woman in her 20s. There is care, effort, and a smile. You think. Although that is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. Oh, you're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Oh, shit. Maybe it will make you happy. Is that our name, Harry? Is, do, do, should we keep reading? Yeah. Okay. Your hand shakes holding the card. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest, down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has filled me entirely. I step onto the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon, when I get off the 42 and walk back Keep to reading. You. you, you, every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul, and I will always, always, always come back to it. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You can feel and the blood sucks. Oh, cause we got sad. It gets dark. Small white dots appear. Sparks fall like snow from the bow collector. A streetcar distance. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. 
Yeah. Well, shit. And that's the opening to Disco Elysium. Hey, -o. Well, there is nothing. Back here again. Again. Nothing? Nothing, sir, brother. No treachery. Just black hair. Just lie there, passed out. Well, almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the Paisal Gantria. Who's that? That's me. Who I? That's me. Mm. And who was, who was, who was that? that? Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing, the unwell illusion. Even in the darkness, he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. No, I was cool. I'm cool. Uh, I was cool. I'm cool. The cool when you're dead, brother. Here in the paleo mammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. The shadow. Because it's always there. Tell me. Tell me. Ah, yes. In the old factory system, they call it the apricot tree unscented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so. But as they say, what do you do? Smelled like betrayal. Yeah, man. Fuck everything. Total blackout forever. Was that the X something? The, uh. Logic corpse of the past resurfacing. No, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape. Where is Voyager Road? Beauty was not the problem. There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Pause. There's something about a bow collector, too? Yeah, man. Yeah. What was that about? Enough. Just lie there, motionless. You think they would let you? Until you disintegrate into biomolecules. No. Someone is breathing. <laughs> Fucking Kim, probably, right? Inspecting uh. your pupil, you stupid idiot. Uh. What is that? It's cold. It's cold. Yes, they're pouring something on you. It's deep. water. Oh. It's delicious. Glowing lights on the dashboard emerge. Uh, uh, Where? Are we in his car? Where am I? To the upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage. Ah. Oh. In the driver's basket. Dear. Oh. With leather works and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Yeah. <coughs> Drink. Water. Oh. Drink. Yeah. The water is cold. Oh, oh that's oil. nice. Oh. The stuff of oh. Oh. As it pours down your parched throat, the pounding in your head recedes. The darkness parts. Oh. Well, I puked. And then I died again. <laughs> and this water is just the great chaser to that. Thanks, buddy. Whoo! Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know that you <sighs> three days to survive on alcohol alone? You need the secondary form of hydration. Oh, it's it's not really. Beer has water in it. Yeah. Uh, like enough, right? It's right? fine. It's fine. Maybe not oh, wine, oh, oh, oh. but. Oh. Oh. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. Ugh. I'm alive again. What happened? Uh, I should ask you the same. Yeah. You were reading your paperwork. Then you passed out. I carried you to my Tinema. You carried me? You, you carried me? Oh. Okay. God. I don't believe that, but okay. How long was I out? Ten minutes, maybe. Oh, well, uh. I was dehydrated. I it came in contact again. with the burnt out ruins of the past, Lieutenant. Oh, okay. That dead from vampire <laughs> <laughs> He just accepts that, yep. It's, what have you seen, man? Yeah, that in happens the sometimes. Such understanding. It's as if the burnt out ruins of the past were an occupational hazard. 
That's a cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that does kind of make me feel better. That I mean, that's you know, pretty much like PTSD, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, it's at least it's you know normal, at least normal eyes. That makes me feel at least a little better. You trust me. Are you okay to proceed? Let's okay. solve this case. <clears throat> Let's solve this case. Good. The ledger of failure and hatred is a special item that can be used both as an interaction. Basically, it's the same ledger, but we can try and figure out this ridiculous naming convention and actually read some cases, pass some time. But until now, it's just the ledger of uh, failure and hatred. Well, let's take a short 15 minute break or so when we get our bearings. Try and recover from that second near-death experience in, uh, well, that's about three hours. And, uh, we'll pick things back up and see if we can't figure out what to do next. Alright, we're back. We should ask the lady for the stench. The stench stuff. The ammonia? Yeah. You sound surprised. Well, I have some questions for you. My partner told me you may have ammonia. Can I have some? Can I have some? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want directions anywhere? No. If there's a corpse? It's, it's an if-then thing. It's like, if there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves. So, there is a corpse, so we're going to need those gloves. Yeah. Can I borrow your gloves? Yeah. Hell yeah! Well, thank you. Man, so helpful. Alright, so go in the old inventory, and uh, you, can, you can probably put the pry bar away by now. But gloves... Well, wait... Clothes, there we go, and gloves. Yep. Don't I look a sight? Oh my. She also mentioned that uh, clothes change your stats a little bit too. So I like lose some Like, good there. any RPG? Yeah, so, like, with these uh, shoes, I gain composure, but I lose a savoir faire. I gain interfacing, Inland Empire, you know, all this, all this stuff. Clothes become very important the more you get. So we should probably find some clothes. So, zooming on a little bit, we've got the body to the north, we've got somewhere over to the west, something else down south, and something boring we'll say for next time to the east. Where, do uh, we, where should we go? Go back to the body. Well, we do have that ammonia, that'd be a good place to start. Now, I would actually like to look at this body at some point, so we might have to engage in a little bit of save scumming. But that's okay. They wouldn't They wouldn't have given me quick save if they didn't expect me to do that. That's true. So. Looking right through you. Let's try it. Nope. Great. And there he goes again. God, what the fuck? It's a different color now. Poor guy. Jeez. The ammonia didn't help at all. I don't think I want to be a cop anymore. Can you climb that thing? What should we do, though? Do you mean? Uh, the ammonia didn't help. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Why can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole life? This is bullshit! I don't want to do this anymore! I don't want to be a cop! Yeah. Alright. Why can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole life? Yeah. That's an awful fucking smell. 
So all you do as a cop is throw up? You seem to be fine. <laughs> a uh -huh. white lie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can't we do something else? Can you climb that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I already talked about that. Okay, fine. Climb so, up that thing. We'll go into here, go to our thought cabinet. About 31% done with the hobo cop. But we can take half an hour. We gain some more uh, thoughts uh, in our episode that we had there. Let's see that. Okay. <clears throat> we got our volumetric shit compressor. Your shit is apart, and it's rather unbecoming of a cop and a human being. It's supposed to be the opposite of that. Together, compress in a small area. To achieve a solid level of shit compression, squeeze your butt cheeks together for 30 minutes. Do something similar with the two hemispheres of your brain. Talk to people. Maybe that'll help. So we can take 30 minutes to get our shit together, can't we? And if we're going to do one more, we can fit one more in there. We've got uh, the bow collector. And White Morning. White Morning. You see yourself from above. You're passed out on the blue tiles of the hostel room floor. Even from this distance, no. you can see your eyelids flutter. Wait, uh, go back to the bow collector. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Sparks fall like snow from the bow collector of streetcar number 42. Slowly down the slope from Voyager Road and then east on the B-206 across the river to where there are no closed factories or ruins. To study. At the academy. Electrical cables run overhead, and the bow collector draws across them like a musical instrument. A flash. She's standing at the rear window, holding onto the rail, in a spring coat, waving at you. Go to White Morning again? A great white object letting out its sweet smell like a lily of the valley. The little man's forgotten its name, but he oh. still remembers the feeling. And look, he moves! The feeling animates him. I he thought we had apricot chewing gum or whatever. They'll probably come later. But we don't have to really worry about a thought, because another better thought might come in our travels. Okay. But I think Hobo Cop is important, and I think getting our shit together is important, too. Yeah. So let's keep these two thoughts for the time being. Can you climb up there? Can we? No. But still climbable! What kind of boots? Lieutenant, workers boots tracks. So let's see, let's see if we can get an exact <laughs> count here. Hmm. No, oh no, uh -oh. we can't do it. We can't do it. We need to oh heal. No. Ouch. Okay, fine. I guess I won't then. What's this over here? Ooh. Pills right. and stuff. Oh, magnesium. Got back what we lost. Perfect. Do it then, or... Oh. No, we already... We used what we had to heal. Now, this I definitely want to save scum for. All right. What is it? But why is it here? Why am I looking at this pile? Perception check. Yeah, while well, like the is going on, let's just do a perception check here. Hey! hey! There's a secret door! Excuse me, Kim. Well then. Now that is how you cop.
Really want to get in here. We did. Ooh, pig head. Do I want to live a magnesium rich, uh, magnesium rich life? <gasps> oh shit! Amphetamine. Oh uh -huh. god, he's got his eyes right on me. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? Someone has taken narcotics here. Right, uh, which which one? One. Someone's taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. What? Hmm. You may be right. What's the pig? Gross. A mummified pig's head. Perfect. Get out of the way or, or get, get fucked, fucked up. Huh. Well. All right. Let's uh, climb up the ladder here, I guess. Ooh. Is that your jacket? I think it is. Why is your jacket up there? So to interact with it, my guy here is going to walk all the way up this pile of rubble. Just so he can look at it. You son of a gun, it's the it's a cop's cloak. It's probably yours. Uh. Well, this is the shipping yard. Ooh. Kvalsen 1020HK. Here. Right, the cloak. Right. Uh, you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for go it? Go for the Jump? cloak! Sure, Kim. Go for it. Oh my god, I don't oh. think we're gonna make it. Oh, not right now, though. Yeah, not right now. Come back later when I'm feeling a little more confident in myself. Yeah. What else is up here, though? Ooh, money? Money! Money and stuff. What's this? Is that, mo is that more money? money? Money! Any of these full? No, oh, they're all empty. Fuck. I, I, I mean, uh, well, I mean, we wouldn't want people wasting, you know, good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can I not get back down now? Up there. Oh, there you go. Then what's in the box? Nosafed. Nosafed is basically what you use to heal yourself from your health. It looks like a fire extinguisher. Probably because, like, you know, like, oh, uh. ah, but it's like good drugs. Well, at least we got this place unlocked. We got a way into the industrial yard. But I really want my cloak. Yeah, just jump up there. I can't jump up there. It won't let me. I have to go all the way up there, basically. See? That's dumb. What am I, some sort of bloated late 40s alcoholic? Oh. Well, so much for that lead. Honestly, I thought you could do parkour, but... You know, he doesn't seem like the parkour type. Kim does. Tell him to go get the cloak. 
I don't think he's going to do much to help me. I think he wants me to help myself for a lot of it. Well, what now? What's in that trash? Bottles. Oh, that's right, because you can recycle them and then get money, right? There's another way to get money. It's very paltry money, but if you get a bag, you can collect bottles around the city and get some money for that. What's in that thing? Mail. Are they square? Two. Yeah, I, I don't think we should kick any more things. Oh, okay. Because you hurt yourself whenever you Good kick mailbox. things. Good mailbox. Good mailbox. <laughs> pat, pat. What? I feel you, mail collection box. I feel you, mail collection box. Leave. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, this place is a shithole. What's that? The great tectonic force has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Oh, there's people. Should we talk to her? No. Look at these things. What is this? On the cover stands a very muscular man, surrounded by flames. The devil? The book has a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked dame on its cover. Oh. That says, Crime... Romance and biographies of famous people. Oh, this is the library. This is a bookstore. That's right, the bookstore. Ooh, Pat! I, I, I want to book about Pat! Pate! Pate? Well then, where to now? What's that? What? Pick up. Round right about north, and Cape Side Apartments, Martinez Pierre. Tibbs has windows. Tibbs windows. What kind of windows do you think Tibbs has? Storm windows? I think XP. XP windows? Windows XP. Oh, please. Hello, delightful bird. Indifferent to my approach. Hey, be different to my approach! Oh. I thought it was a broken bottle at first. It's a bird sitting there. Okay. I have no sense of perception. I have no self-worth. No street sign. I like how Kim just follows you. Yeah, let's let's ask him about that. You seem to be following me. Nothing, just an observation. <laughs> what do you mean distinctive? How's that? What? You're kidding me? Why containers? Uh, I want to talk about you. Okay, I want to talk about you. Yes, you. Come on, Lieutenant, open up a little. 
You're wearing glasses. <laughs> Just observing. <laughs> Wait, what? You know I wear glasses too, right? Glasses are cool, I guess. We're about, we're about ready to make fun of him for being for wearing glasses. We're about ready to call him a binoclard. What? You ever talk with yourself? You know, when you're thinking. Do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? <laughs> so how do you, you know, you know... Think? love that line. That's uh, all for now. We'll talk later. Yeah, I'm just kind of wandering right now because I'm not sure what to do. Oh, is this door locked? Knock. This is the police. Open the door. <laughs> but I'm not joking. Please let me inside. It's cold out here. I'm not joking. Tell her we're real. Please, you have more authority than me. Madame, I assure you, we are real police officers. There is no fire. There is no fire. Yeah, Fine. All right, all right, all right. Uh, where, where to now? I'm just kind of wandering around Oh, here. that lady at the boat down there. Oh, yes, you. What gave us away? Yeah, what, what gave us away, huh? Because look wh what I'm dressed in. Ah, ha, ha. Shake her hand. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Yeah. Oh, boy. You have a lot of faith in me, Kim. Yeah, you do. What, what, what was he winking at me for? Got a lot of questions we can ask this lady. Uh, the strike. What are you talking about the strike? What if I want to hear about the trade secrets? I should mention uh, when it says wait or hold on, the game will tell you. That means you're going on a small tangent and you'll come back to this set of questions after asking this. Where does like, it say wait or hold on? It says wait. What if I want to hear about trade secrets? Oh. Dang. 
how do I repeal it then? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Leave it we, alone. We should abandon this idea, yes. Yes. What's your role in this? Oh. I think I'm about to get my shit together. Aha! So the strike is connected to the lynching. Tell me more about this behemoth. Wow. Yeah. I was worried about to say that you got here about the time I did. Yeah. Yep, these are definitely names I know what's going on. It's smile and nod. Mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm. that's right. You're getting all this, Kim. Good. Please, please tell me later. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds about right. Well, what are their demands? That, Yikes. That's not... That would never work. Yeah, that would never... No. Yeah. Seems like they have no idea about business. What does that even mean? Yeah. What the? That's ridiculous. Now you and I work in small off have worked in small offices before. Yeah. It's impossible to get ten people to sign one thing. No shit. Let alone twenty two hundred. Seventy-two thousand. Not only are they teams of the company, they are also teams of the seventy-two thousand employees of Wild Pine Group. That's pretty funny, I have to admit. What are you gonna do? So, so a... is he a worker from the... Yeah, but why was he wearing light armor? Because Kim said that he was wearing this uh, special kind of shirt where you can hide lightweight armor underneath an yeah. urban setting. So what would he be doing that for? How, how connected is the man to the strike? Because we know that the strike and lynching are connected, but how and in what way, we don't know. He is over uh, towards where the strike is. You know, up north we have the body. Down south we have stuff. Stuff. Over where we are, we're at the docks and where Joyce Messier is. And over at over to the right, to the east, that's where the strike is happening. 
Okay. And the strike is basically the, the rail yard is closed, the gates are shut, and there's a big, dumb racist in the way that's keeping everybody from coming in. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember. But we know a way in. From Kuno's Clubhouse. Oh! All right, that's all I, that's all I need here. Let's change the topic. We, we've got our shit together, so let's take care of that. You seem rich. Can I have some money? We'll come back later. Right now we need to get our shit together. togetherness what's the bonuses all endurance white checks unlocked for learning cap endurance raised to four awesome maybe now we can try and inspect the body and I want to at least get over the hurdle of being able to look at the goddamn thing <laughs> if we can do that we'll call it a day well, it's not really a day, because days go by very long in this game. But I want to go look at that body. I need to get that body Let's looked look at. Let's look at that body, then. Let's go look at the body. That body is going somewhere. And I'm going to save scum to do it if I have to. Because I don't know how else to look at the body, aside from getting my shit together and taking him money. I've done everything right. I need a miracle. So... Come here, body. Oh, that's a little better. That's way better, because our shit is compressed. Let's do it. Oh, no! Fuck! We're gonna roll a so three? Fun. There he goes Jesus. again. Ah, come on. Oh, ugh. Even though I got my shit compressed, how is it possible? <laughs> I can swear your shit was together. What do I do now? Basically, now you can just check this. Uh, you know, keep putting it into endurance. Keep ch keep checking and keep trying again. Or we can load our quick save. You get up to two, by the way. And let's get this shit together! Try again. Nope. But Do it until we win. Yeah! Hey. Sorry, I just had to find a timeline where I can actually stomach this shit. Yeah. Oh, good. Do they always do that? Yeah. I Step see. closer. How do we get him down? Why does he have like night shoes? Like night boots? Basically, all the blood has pulled down to his feet and you can't get them off. How do we get him down? Well, we may have to rely on some more safe scumming to get him down. Yeah, this wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. We can't even climb it up. So, uh... Fuck him up. Next time on Disco Elysium, we're gonna really give this body a look-through. Really see what this guy's yeah, about. He can he tell us his like story. Yeah, he looks like a dummy, but... And maybe even get him down in the process. Who knows? Anything could happen. You got anything to say about that kid? Huh? Kuna doesn't care. Huh? Huh? Yeah. That's what I thought. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.